This e tricycle was apprehended. It's being driven by a young boy, no license, no registration. And of course, this won't be one unit. They'll be operated with many of these, I'm sure. Apparently, this driver is 17 years old and he's charging the lady 300 pesos. I'm not exactly sure where they're going to, but a lot of people complain about being overcharged by electric tricycles. They came across this parked on the road. It's actually in front of the shop that's selling them. It looks like the towing crew are going to impound the vehicle. I clarified the details, what happened with this one. They considered it as being illegally parked here on Buendia. When they asked the staff for a license so it can be ticketed, they said they don't want to take a ticket because it's owned by the company and it's only put there to try and advertise it. That's why they put it in the road dial. Over here you'll see some more e-tricycles that they apprehended in this area already loaded on the tow truck. There's another e-tricycle they stopped here with passengers on the back. Unfortunately, this driver said he doesn't have a license or registration. And again, the passenger did confirm that they're paying. I just wonder why it has a PMP sticker on the front. Although, of course, anybody can buy a sticker. It also says private, but like I mentioned in the previous video, that doesn't mean anything. The passengers confirmed they are paying. Going to take an imprint of the chassis number because of course there's no license plates on these kind of vehicles. And this is Buendia by the way, so it's not like it's a tiny road on the inner street or inside the barangay. This is a major road. Here's more of the e-trikes that they chased down earlier. They're looking now for a chassis number or something else they can put on the ticket because of course there's no license plate. According to the drivers, they have permission from the barangay to operate as public transport. I don't know if that's true. There are complaints from traditional tricycles and jeepneys. They're saying they're doing everything legally with their customers, the passengers. They're being stolen by Colorum e-trikes. Two of the e-trikes have already been loaded onto the flatbed and there's another one coming now. In some areas you will see a lot of jumper wires, sometimes even run by, well, you know who. As soon as the MMDA arrived in this area, all the e-tricycle drivers ran away. They went down the side streets. They're asking now if the driver has license or registration. I already heard him say he doesn't have anything. And this car that's considered to be illegally parked is also about to be towed away. There doesn't appear to be any driver to take a ticket and move the vehicle. Just in front of that car, you'll actually see this big sign, no parking, tollway zone. Flagging down this motorcycle, unfortunately lady on the back, no crash helmet. It looks like the driver does have a license, so it would only be a ticket, and then the passenger would have to find alternative transport. I turn my back for one second, and they already put the vehicle on the back of the tow truck, considered to be illegally parked. All of these vendors had their stalls in the middle of the road. They asked them to remove it. They're going very slowly. The truth is MMDA can't make a significant change here because the barangay in the city, they want it to be like this. And you already know why, unfortunately, the lady driver of this one says she doesn't have a license and that the registration is expired. This is not electric. This is a 200cc RE tricycle. So I guess it will be impounded. There's no plate on the back either. Usually these would have at least a temporary plate if they're registered. The driver showed a receipt, but unfortunately no registration or license. He said he's usually charging passengers 20 pesos per head. But I can tell you, I've been in this area late at night and it's not 20 pesos. Maybe this guy is better than the other drivers. This vehicle does have a license plate. I'm not sure yet if it really belongs to this. They verified the registration. This plate does belong to the vehicle. The problem is the name on the registration is not the name of the driver. The driver can't show a license. He can't even show any kind of ID. What he showed is a ticket from the LGU saying he was apprehended for tricycle ban. But even that ticket doesn't have a license number. Plus it's the original instead of the carbonized copy. We have seen in the past that people will buy tickets from the LGU enforcers and then they will use those in place of a driver's license. Since the driver can't show a license, he can't show an ID, can't show a license number, they will be impounding this vehicle. When they asked the driver about his passengers in the back, he said they're not paying, he just carries them around for free. This tricycle tried to run from enforcers, they were able to stop him. The tricycle driver showed his paperwork from the city, but even there it says they're not meant to be on national roads. If you watch this man here, where will he go? In the road. Because the sidewalk became a VIP parking area. All three of these vehicles have been ticketed for obstructing the sidewalk. 
So far, no drivers have come out. 